The Bear Gulch Limestone is a limestone-rich geological lens in central Montana, renowned for the quality of its late Mississippian-aged fossils. It reconstructs a diverse, though isolated, marine ecosystem which developed near the end of the Serpicovian age. It is a lagerstedt, a particular type of rock unit with exceptional fossil preservation of both articulated skeletons and soft tissues. Bear gulch fossils include a variety of fish, invertebrates, and algae occupying a number of different habitats within a preserved shallow bay. Some fossils were preserved so rapidly and efficiently that mating behaviors, internal organs, coloration patterns, gut content, and even the pattern of blood vessels could be observed in fossils. This exceptional preservation may be a consequence of the prevailing warm monsoonal climate, as storms could frequently and rapidly cover the seabed with oxygen-poor organic runoff from shallower areas. The various species of acanthodes are known to have inhabited freshwater lakes, as well as saline lagoons, which is the ecosystem found here. It was likely capable of opening its jaws wide as an adaptation to suspension feeding. Paratyrasius featured a fully regionalized tetrapod-like spine divided into five distinct segments. It is not considered a transitional fossil though, but an extreme example of convergent evolution. Balancia's body was leaf-shaped, with muscular fins and a small tail. Such a body plan would allow for great maneuverability, but at the cost of speedy cruising. Its few, large triangular teeth formed a beak-like arrangement that allowed it to graze sponges or crinoids. Echinochimera is one of the earliest chimeriforms known.
Harpagophuter was an eel-shaped fish with almost no scales. It swam with some help from its fins, but also relied on whole body locomotion to move. The fish also had teeth sufficient for eating shellfish. Further examinations of the soft tissue pigments of these fossilized remains led to more information about the fish and information about its internal organs, including its reproductive system. Tristichius was a small shark that had a well-developed upturned caudal fin, similar to that of many modern sharks. Physically it may have resembled a modern dogfish, it also had spikes attached to the bases of its dorsal fins, probably for protection against predators. Falcatus was a chondrichthian known as a cladodont toothed stethocanthid holocephalon. The first material known from the genus were the prominent fin spines that curve anteriorly over the head of the animal. It is certain that Stethocanthus was a carnivore, and considering its small size probably fed on small fish, brachiopods, and crinoid ossicles like other sharks of its time. Additionally, as the spine brush complex is rather a large structure, it seems likely that, in combination with the forward-facing denticles on the structure, it would have produced a drag force during fast locomotion. Therefore, Stethocanthus was probably a slow-moving shark. The fins of Stethocanthus were also smaller than in other sharks of the same size, and their teeth were also on the small side relative to other small Paleozoic sharks, suggesting that Stethocanthus may have been a bottom dweller. As the name implies, cladodus are a type of cladodon, primitive sharks with teeth designed to snag fish and swallow them whole, instead of sawing off chunks to swallow. According to the fossils, Janassa had a body plan very similar to that of the modern skate. Its teeth suggested crushed and ate shellfish, such as brachiopods.